You have a digital product and now it's time to sell it. So what exactly do you do? Well, in this video, I'm going to break down how to play the social media game to sell your digital products and what type of social media posts are likely to help you generate more engagement and attention as a digital product seller. Hey guys, my name is Dawn Marie and I started my digital product business from scratch about two years ago and I'm at the point where I'm making almost daily sales. So I thought that I would share my journey with you on this channel so that you can learn everything that I am doing to have gotten to this point. So if you would like to follow along with that and stay in touch with me, then I hope you'd stick around and subscribe to the channel. Now I'm going to leave a link to my playlist, which is a case study playlist below in the description box. So you can binge watch and see what I have gotten up to so far. And also check out in the description box for my free 10 day action plan, which takes you through everything that I have done step by step over 10 days so that you can be in a position to launch and sell your own digital product products as well. Okay, so when it comes to selling your digital products on social media or anywhere for that matter, whether it's a website, your webinar or at an event, there is one thing that you always need to pay attention to and produce and that is content. Now content is what attracts people to you so that they can get to know a little bit more about you, to pay attention to you and then eventually buy from you. But what type of content should you be creating to sell your digital products on social media? Now, of course, there are different strategies that you can use as a digital product seller. You can create content to sell your digital products directly from your social media posts, or you can get people to subscribe to an email list from your social media posts and then sell to them within email. So how exactly do I do it? So I do a bit of both. And in my 10 day action plan, I actually teach the strategy of using social media to build an email list and then sell to people who have subscribed to your email list. I also sell directly from social media, but I have to be honest that most of my sales actually come from email, which is why in my action plan, I'm recommending setting up that email list. But let's talk about the type of content that will make the most impact, whether you want to sell directly from your social media or you want to get people to subscribe to your email list. So the types of social media posts that work really well for me is story posts that relate to the product I'm selling. Now, as a digital product creator, if you're in the business of selling eBooks or info products, for example, you could create story posts about why you created or wrote an eBook or info product. I mean, what's the backstory, right? So maybe you struggled with something and you felt compelled to talk about the struggles that you've been through and what you did to solve or overcome those struggles. Maybe you had an amazing transformation and you think it would be helpful for other people who are going through the same thing as you to know about this. So that's why you created the info product or wrote the ebook. I mean, stories are such a great way for people to relate to you and resonate with you. And I think if they resonate with you, they're more likely to become attracted to you and then eventually buy from you. Now, another type of social media post that you can create is how to posts where you're teaching someone how to do something. And then the next step they will need to take is to buy and use your digital product. Now, I love these type of posts because it's what I literally do here on my YouTube channel. My audience like you are digital product creators. And of course you want to know, how to do things for yourself and your business efficiently. So I create these types of how to content to attract you to me. Then I offer valuable products to help you in your business. So here is another example just to help drive home that point. So if for example, you're selling crochet DIY videos, you can create a social media post or create a social media video about how to make a specific crochet pattern. Then you can lead people down the path of purchasing the full video or tutorial to complete other patterns. So the reason why this works is because you're really positioning yourself as a crochet expert who knows how to make patterns effortlessly. So in the minds of the viewers, it makes sense that if you want, if they want to make additional patterns and learn from someone who showed them how to make their first pattern, then obviously it makes sense to buy your product. 
Now, another type of social media post that you can create and which honestly I don't do enough of, but I know it definitely helps to build a community on social media and give viewers a first hand view of what your digital product is like is behind the scenes posts. Now, behind the scenes posts, it helps to create a little bit of humanness to your brand. So it allows potential customers to be part of the process and see how you came up with your digital products. For example, if your digital product is a planner, you can show how you created the planner and the effort that you actually put into creating it. So if your digital product is a course, you can document yourself creating the videos, how you come up with the ideas for the modules, how you put to everything together on the platform that you're going to sell it. And that way, when you post it to your social media followers, it helps them to perceive the value of the product and justify in their mind that with the amount of value that you have put together in the product, together with the time spent and effort that you took to build and design it, that it is worth the money. Now, I hope these ideas are helping you think about the creative ways that you can come up with your own posts for social media. But if you're still having a hard time wondering what type of social media post to write, or if you're not very good at writing the content to start your social media strategy, then I think my digital product launch social media toolkit would be a very good place for you to start because it gives you 90 done for you social media copy templates, 90 stunning, beautiful Canva graphic templates, a 90 day social media launch planner, chat GPT prompts to help you make content creation effortless, and also my AI copy pro ebook that teaches you how to use AI with chat GPT to create unlimited content. So you can learn more about this toolkit with the link in the description box below. All right, so let's talk about the next type of content that I think does really well to sell your digital products, and that is testimonial or reviews from your past customers. Now, I mean, it's very evident that people rely on the experiences of others to decide whether they are going to purchase from a brand. So if you share all the fantastic things that your past customers have said about your products, maybe they thought it was a detailed tutorial that you created, maybe the product was well designed, you have permission to share these reviews with prospective customers to give them an idea that other customers actually buy from you and like your digital products. So now it's time for them to get off the fence and purchase as well. But I know that there are some people who when I've said this, it will generate the next question. And that is, what if I don't have any testimonials or reviews yet? And that is completely okay because sometimes for the products that I am selling to my audience, I have zero testimonials, but it doesn't stop me from making sales. So the way I like to overcome this is by telling my story. And I previously covered this before. So if you really want to understand how to use stories to sell your digital products, then make sure to rewind back to the start of the video. So if you've purchased from me before, you know that I sell templates and my templates are really based on things I've done in my business that makes it easy for me to accomplish something. So I think it will be helpful to other people. So that's why I sell it. So when I'm trying to sell the product, I tell my story to my followers about why I created the product, how it has made my business and life easier, how I've been able to get results from using the templates. So storytelling really goes a long way. And I think when it's done right, it can be really helpful to help you put your product in front of an audience, connect with them through your story and build that emotional connection that helps them trust you so that they feel comfortable buying from you. So we've talked about testimonials, reviews, stories, behind the scenes posts. I mean, these are the types of posts that I would focus on to help build trust, credibility, and a community around your brand. And you will find that when you do this consistently over time, people will come to know you, they will like you because you're delivering and you're serving them with value, and they will also trust you to take out their credit card and buy. I mean, this is what I have been doing for the past two years consistently, and it is going well so far. So I think if you follow this method, 
that you could build that for yourself. And I think if you let me know as well in the comments, what other type of content have you created? Maybe that might be able to help someone else who's reading it. And also don't forget to check out my free 10 day action plan to launching and selling your own digital products, as well as my digital product launch social media toolkit, both of which are in the description box below. Also, I've put these two videos here on the screen for you to look at next. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you've learned a lot and I will see you in my next one. Bye now.